My research program focuses on the administrative divisions, which is the subnational territory of China. And what's interesting about that in China, for example, is that all cities are administrative divisions and that the government maintains powers to change the administrative divisions in many ways. And so uh, it's particularly interesting because there hasn't been too much research on it. In the 1980s and 1990s, many new cities were established. We can see why they're established and what regions. And in these years, we can see how other kinds of detailed changes are established in relation to driving urbanization, um, planning certain kinds of industrial growth, even creating context for administering population reforms and hukou. So administrative divisions seem really basic in a way, but there's not much research on them. Um, we uh, collaborate with researchers in China in order to try to understand why changes are being made and how they, they come often take place before economic reforms. And so they're not very easy to see, but once you start to study them, you can see how the government is changing, you know, what is an urban district, changing the situation of towns below the county level to expand them and create new relationships between small cities and towns. That's the new type urbanization that's now a national plan. And so once you start to follow these kinds of changes, then you can understand actually in much greater detail how economic development is unfolding.